Well, now to Bryant, where a family is feeling let down by the system. Their daughter was murdered in February of 2022. The crime remains unsolved, and tonight they fear no one will ever be held accountable. They spoke with Channel 7's Brenda Lipinski, who joins us live tonight in our studio. Brenda. Chris, the family says that even though it's been two years ago, they're still reliving a nightmare every day. She traveled with this book and took it everywhere, so it was important to me. Tawana Harris is sharing artwork done by her daughter, Tara Harris, who was brutally killed in February of 2022 in Bryant, Arkansas. Since her daughter's death, she made a memory wall in her honor. To me, it don't feel real still. I feel like I'm talking about someone else, you know, so. She says Tara was in an abusive relationship. She worked every day, and every day she won at work is because she hiding her bruises that he done put on her. Yes, I work with her. I seen it. We all seen it. The family says no one was convicted in the murder. The case was closed, and they were handed a file. They didn't give us the answers that we deserved. They didn't help my mom. They were very rude as if we were the ones that pulled the trigger. We reached out to the Bryant Police Department, who say, quote, I apologize they feel like they've been treated unfairly. Every one of our cases are investigated very thoroughly and turned over to the prosecutor's office. Once it gets to the prosecuting attorney's office, it's out of our hands at that point, end quote. We reached out to the prosecuting attorney who had no comment on the matter. The family says they've tried to reach out to multiple people for help. Every call I make, they want to hear the story, which I'm tired of telling the story. And then they say, well, you need to reach out of state. No one's going to take it local. And I've been hearing that from every lawyer. And just want justice for Tara. She was life. She was everything to us. And Tara's mother says in the future she hopes to raise funds to be able to get women who are in abusive relationships out before it's too late. On your side, I'm Brenda Lipinski. Okay, Brenda, thanks very much. Advocates who are helping the family say they plan on writing the Attorney General's office about the family's experience. While the 